The Kingdom of Numidia was formed from the original Kingdom of Carthage. The Numidians were divided into two great ethnic groups. These were the Massili in the east and Massacili in the west. During the Second Punic War, Massili originally sided with Carthage, while Massacili, under the leadership of King Sipax, allied themselves with the Roman Empire. However, in 206, the new king of Massili sided with Rome, leading Sipax to ally himself with Carthage. This proved a mistake as the Romans claimed victory over Carthage and hand over Numidia to the Massili. King Massinissa became the first king of the Kingdom of Numidia. After he had united both parts of the Kingdom of Numidia, King Massinissa expanded the kingdom. He was a long-lived ruler, ruling Numidia for around 54 years until dying at about the age of 90. He was vigorous to the end and led his troops until his death. He remained a staunch ally of the Roman Empire. He was described by scholars as the best man of all the kings of our time. King Massinissa wanted a self-sufficient, strong and stable kingdom. So he introduced Carthaginian agricultural techniques and forced many Numidians to work as peasant farmers. This was particularly important as Numidia had been seen as an undeveloped region. However, by the end of his reign, in the words of Polybius, his greatest and most divine achievement was this. Numidia had been universally unproductive before his time and was looked upon as incapable of producing any cultivated fruits. He was the first and only man who showed that it could produce cultivated fruit just as well as any other country. On the military front, King Massinissa maintained good relations with the Romans and realized that he needed to create a strong army to ensure his kingdom was safe from Carthage. He continued expanding his territories with Roman help. He was succeeded by his son Messipsa, who was given charge of the kingdom's capital and treasure, while his brothers owned the office of justice and war. His brothers, however, soon passed away. Leaving him as the sole ruler, he continued the alliance with Rome but had his reservations, believing that the Romans were not completely in favor of the kingdom of Numidia. It was under his reign that the threat of Carthage was finally destroyed. Despite his suspicion of the Romans, he continued to aid them during their war efforts and modernized the army. It was the war between his sons on his death that led to the eventual breakup of the kingdom of Numidia. The Kingdom of Numidia had enormous achievements among which were the introduction of agriculture to the region, once seen as a wasteland with no real agricultural prospects. Numidia at a time became the breadbasket of Rome due to the modern agricultural techniques, which were learned from Carthage. This innovation led to the stability of the Kingdom of Numidia. The most renowned innovation of Numidia was the Numidian cavalry, once described as by far the best horsemen in Africa. The Numidian cavalry's horses were the ancestors of the, the Baba horse. These horses were smaller than the other horses of the era. However, they moved much faster, especially over longer distances. In terms of trade, the Numidians had their currency and coins, which had the galloping horse inscribed on them. These represented the cavalry of the Numidians. Although Numidia had several kings that ruled the kingdom, notable among them were King Massinissa, 202 to 148, Messipsa, 148 to 118, and Judah the first, 60 to 46 BC. Numidia was dominated by many nationalities over the centuries after being conquered by Rome until it won its independence in 1962 as Algeria. The story of the Maasai Sili was a large part of its history and the Kingdom of Numidia played a huge role in many other empires such as the Kingdom of Mauritania.